Today, we've got some heartwarming news from the Running Man team. Kim Yong Kook recently shared a behind the scenes look at their concert tour, and it's filled with sweet moments and hilarious interactions. Let's dive in. On July 11th, Kim Yong Kook uploaded a video titled The Fantastic Chemistry of the Members Who Have Been Together for 14 Years Feet. Running Man on his YouTube channel, Jim Yong Kook. This video gave fans an inside look at the Running Man concert tour preparations. The video starts with Kim Yong Kook heading to the concert hall after a workout at the hotel gym. As the rehearsal began, the Running Man members showed their excitement, capturing each other on camera. Song Ji Hyo, Yang S. E. Chan, and Ji Suk Jin prepared a duet of Sark 3 as Here We Go Again. While Kim Yong Kook and Song Ji Hyo rehearsed, the Jidu's conversation is needed. The highlight Kim Yong Kook and Song Ji Hyo shared a sweet moment, putting their arms around each other and drawing a big heart on stage. Kim Yong Kook added some humor by saying, I keep listening to Ji Hyo's songs, so I think I'm going to have a ghost after watching Song Ji Hyo's rehearsal. Ji Suk Jin agreed, adding, It breaks through the recording. When the actual performance began, the local fans' enthusiasm was overwhelming. They passionately cheered for Kim Yong Kook during his one man stage, and at the end of the show, the members sang his hit Lovely, adding to the vibrant atmosphere. They also took the time to give autographs and take selfies, showcasing their exceptional fan service. Kim Yong Kook shared his gratitude, saying, The Running Man tour will continue on a new stage. Please look forward to it. It was a happy moment to breathe and enjoy together with overseas fans who always send their unchanging support from afar. It's clear that the Running Man team shares a special bond, both with each other and their fans. We can't wait to see what they have in store next. Today, we have some exciting news that's sure to get you buzzing. 2PM's Tsien, who has been a heartthrob for years, has recently turned heads with a stunning new photo shoot. Let's dive into the details and see why everyone is talking about it. Tsien, known for his strong and masculine image, Tsien has often been seen sporting a buff look especially after his military service where he earned the nickname Captain Career for his impressive physique. But recently, Tsien took a surprising turn in a photo shoot with Kito magazine. His latest fashion looks are a departure from the rugged image we're used to. Let's take a closer look at these jaw-dropping photos. In these photos, Tsien shows of a softer side that we haven't seen before. One particular look that went viral on X shows him wearing shorts that resemble a skirt. His long legs and trim waist are on full display and fans can't get enough of it. This look has generated a lot of buzz online, with netizens expressing their admiration for his daring fashion choice. Many are praising his ability to pull off such a unique style. But that's not all. The photoshoot also includes some looks that maintain his masculine charm, with shots highlighting his chest muscles and strong build. Let's take a look at some of these contrasting styles. Tsion's ability to effortlessly switch between different styles is truly impressive. Whether he's showcasing a softer side or his well-known buff physique, he never fails to captivate his audience. It's this versatility that makes him such a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Now, let's talk about some of the specific reactions from fans. Many were stunned by the way Tsien can pull off such diverse looks. One fan commented, Tsien can literally wear anything and still look amazing, while another said, his duality is no joke. It's clear that Tsion's latest photo shoot has left a lasting impression. But what does this mean for his career? Could we see more of these bold fashion choices in the future? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure Tsion continues to surprise and delight his fans. This photo shoot marks an interesting point in Tsion's fashion evolution. Over the years, we've seen him grow from a charismatic idol to a versatile actor, and now a fashion icon. His willingness to experiment with different styles shows his confidence and creativity. What do you think about Tsion's latest photo shoot? Do you prefer his new, softer look? Or are you a fan of his classic, rugged style? Today, we have an incredible story that will warm your hearts. On the latest episode of SBS Running Man, Kim Yong Kook shared a touching confession about his past. Let's dive into the details. In the July 14th episode of Running Man, the members embarked on a unique adventure, visiting some of the most unexpected vacation spots. The episode featured a midsummer temperature difference race, where participants had to find summer retreats to beat the extreme heat. But it was Kim Yong Kook's heartfelt confession that truly stole the show. The race involved throwing darts at a map of Seoul to randomly select a summer retreat. Once they landed on a location, 
they had to ask residents, where is summer's retreat where you can forget the heat and have fun? This led to some fantastic and unique recommendations, many of which were completely new to the MZ generation. Rather than the usual beaches or water parks, these neighborhood retreats offered fresh and exciting ways to beat the heat. The reactions were priceless, with members saying things like, this is the first time I've been here in my life, and this is a place I could never have imagined. However, the fun was limited to a select few. While the vacation faction members enjoyed the cooler conditioning, coffee and snacks, the labor faction members had to do odd jobs in the blazing sun. This contrast led to some hilarious complaints, but it also brought out a touching story from Kim Yong kook As the labor faction members sweated it out, Kim Yong kook shared a poignant memory. He revealed that when he was young, he helped his mother with her side job making door clothes. Despite the hard work, they only earned 3,001. This glimpse into his past showed his extraordinary dexterity and work ethic. Kim Yong kooks confession added a layer of depth to the episode, reminding everyone of his humble beginnings and strong bond with his mother. His ability to adapt quickly to simple labor tasks impressed everyone and showcased a different side of the beloved star. What a touching story from Kim Yong kook it's moments like these that make Running Man such a beloved show. Did this confession touch your heart too? Today, we have an exclusive and heartwarming story straight from BTS's Jin. Recently, Jin shared his unexpected feelings during his military discharge, and it's something you won't want to miss. Let's get into it. Last month, the BTS members attended Jin's military discharge, and he recently recounted the experience in an interview with Korea. From his perspective, the story is both touching and funny. At first, Jin couldn't spot the members amid the cameras and journalists. After greeting everyone, he finally approached his fellow BTS members. What he saw next made him laugh. Jin noticed that the members were hugging each other without him, and he humorously shared this with Korea, saying, they were all hugging each other without me, you know? This funny moment quickly turned into a heartfelt one. Jin realized that the members not only missed him, but also each other. It had been a while since they were all together, and the reunion was emotional for everyone. Jin confessed, When I was in the military, I really missed the members, so I thought they must have felt the same way too. This shows just how strong their bond is. Grateful for their unity, Jin was moved by the group's effort to greet him. As the first BTS member discharged from the military, he took the opportunity to give his fellow members some words of encouragement. Jin shared his wisdom, saying, Our members, Time is moving fast, so if we live diligently and well, good days will come. I'll be working hard on good things ahead, so I hope you stay healthy and come out well. Of course, Jin, just like his fans, is eagerly anticipating the return of the other members. His positive outlook and heartfelt words are truly inspiring. What a touching story from Jin. It's moments like these that remind us of the deep bond between the BTS members. How did this story make you feel? Today, we have some exciting and heartwarming news from the world of Thai entertainment. Beloved actors Mu Sapazit, Jung Shavivit, and T.U. Elpake and Tyler Thanesh have officially confirmed their relationship. Let's dive into the details of this beautiful revelation. Mutal, as fans affectionately call them, have been known for their close friendship. But it wasn't until recently that they confirmed their romantic relationship in a touching video. The pair didn't start as an on-screen couple but their genuine friendship has blossomed into something more. Mew first gained widespread attention in Thantype, the series, where he played one of the titular characters alongside Golf Kanawat Trepa Patanapon. Since then, he's appeared in numerous projects and made history as H&M's first ever brand ambassador in Thailand and Asia in 2024. TUL, on the other hand, started his career as a model before making his mark in the series Bad Romance which led to a spin-off starring him and his on-screen partner Max Natpol Dilek Narit. On July 12th, Mew and TUL appeared on the Goina Tidrun channel, where they opened up about their relationship. The video is filled with heartfelt moments as they share their journey from friendship to romance. Throughout the video, Mew and TUL discuss how they first met and the ways they show love for each other. Mew shared a sweet story of visiting TUL in the United States three times while TUL was in college which led them to agree that Mew is crazier in love. They also shared what they appreciate most about each other. T.U.L. expressed his gratitude for meeting Mew, while Mew managed to fluster T.U.L. by initially saying he likes him because he is cute.
before giving a deeper answer about how they help each other improve. Near the end of the episode, TUL talked about the challenges of going public with their relationship and the negative reactions they might face. Mu echoed these sentiments but mentioned that society has changed for the better, and he feels no need to hide who he is. We are overjoyed to see Mu and TUL openly share their relationship with the world. Their honesty and love for each other are truly inspiring, and it's wonderful to see them facing challenges together. What are your thoughts on Mu and Tol's revelation? We're thrilled to see them so happy and open about their relationship. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Today, we're diving into a recent Instagram exchange that has got seven fans talking. Jackson Wank, a member of GOT7, responded to a fan's comment questioning his feelings about the group. Let's break down what happened. Jackson Wank recently found himself addressing concerns from a fan regarding his sentiments about GOT7. The interaction started with a fan accusing Jackson of seeing GOT7 as a thing of the past, referencing a post he liked on Weibo. The fan's comment was quite emotional, saying, To you, GOT7 is in the past. However, it can't be denied that GOT7 existed in your life for 10 years. I don't know if the Weibo post you like today has that meaning, but I don't want to guess anymore. Let the wonderful things stay in the past. I will remember all the happiness that GOT7 S. Jackson brought me, but please respect the existence of group fans. We are humans too, and we also have emotions. We are not animals, we also have bad moods. The Weibo post in question likely relates to an excerpt from Jackson's interview with Harper's Bazaar China for their August 2024 edition. In the interview, Jackson discussed the difficulties of forming genuine friendships in the entertainment industry. Jackson said, Because what I've experienced in this industry over the years is that when I make friends, I don't know if I'm making friends with the person themselves, or if I'm making friends with the person's team or if I'm making friends with the person's fans. It's hard for me to have a pure and direct friendship, especially with people my age. The fan interpreted this as a possible reference to GOT7, leading to their emotional comment on Instagram. Jackson, who has faced questions about his status with GOT7 since starting his solo career, responded simply and directly. Jackson replied, What are you saying? This response highlights his confusion and perhaps frustration over the fan's assumption. This interaction has sparked a lot of discussion among fans. Many understand Jackson's challenges in balancing his solo career with his history in GOT7, while others are sensitive about any perceived distancing from the group. Jackson's solo career has been a major focus for him, but his connection to GOT7 and its fans remains significant. It's important to remember the complexities idols face in their careers and personal lives. What do you think about Jackson's response? How do you interpret his comments about friendship in the industry? Today, we're diving into a hot topic literally. It seems like the BTS members have been shedding their shirts left and right, despite what we mentioned on Sugar Show, Sutrita. Let's get into the details. In a recent episode of Sutrita, he made a clear statement. I saw that there are armies who think that Chapter 2 is about taking our shirts off. But I repeat, Chapter 2 has nothing to do with taking our shirts off. However, it seems like the rest of BTS has been doing the exact opposite. He himself recently went shirtless for his new photo book. Jimin followed suit for his face album, and we've seen J-Hope and Esugio go shirtless for a few photos as well. I'm and Jungkook have been more daring, going shirtless on multiple occasions. And let's not forget Jin, who went shirtless before his enlistment to show off his friendship tattoo on his back. Speaking of Jin, a new interview with him was posted via W Korea. He did a photo shoot with the magazine, and the behind-the-scenes footage gave us some interesting insights. During the shoot, Jin was asked to go shirtless under another clothing article. Jin politely declined, saying, Don't wear a shirt underneath. That is, I'm a bit of a conservative person. I'm not so confident about my body. Amis found it quite ironic that the first BTS member to post a shirtless photo on Instagram was now hesitant to go shirtless for a photo shoot. But many fans were also proud of Jin for speaking up and sticking to his comfort zone. It's important to remember that while some members might feel comfortable showing more skin, others, like Jin, might not. And that's perfectly okay. Everyone should do what they're comfortable with. What do you think about this shirtless trend among the BTS members? And how do you feel about Jin's decision to stay covered up? We've got some thrilling updates about the upcoming episode of Running Man that you won't want to miss. 
The episode airing on the 21st is set to celebrate the 2024 Paris Olympics with a special race titled 2024 Burning Running Pick. Let's dive into what's in store. This special episode features running men rivals Yu Jae Suk and Kim Yong Kook as team leaders. Right from the start, the two are given a choice, right or left. Based on their choices, they need to gather their teammates by navigating through narrow alleys and assemble at the opening location, sparking a fiery war of nerves. Yu Jae Suk quickly proved to be the best driver, expertly maneuvering through the tight alleys with his sharp judgment. On the other hand, Kim Yong Kook relied solely on his intuition, confidently declaring, you have to go this way no matter what. Their contrasting styles made for an entertaining and intense start. In an interesting twist, both team leaders encountered each other in the alley where Ji Yi Yuen was waiting. This led to a humorous battle for the youngest member, with shouts of don't drive properly, and Ji Yi Yuen, get in here. It's a showdown to see who can assemble their team first and arrive at the opening location. But that's not all. The episode will feature a running man style sports competition. Fittingly themed for the 2024 Burning Running Peck, the goal is to guard the torch, a symbol of running pick. However, the challenge is intensified by heavy rain falling nationwide, adding an element of crisis to the competition. How will the teams handle the rain and the challenges it brings? Will you Jae Suk's sharp judgment or Kim Yong Kook's intuition prevail? You will have to tune in to find out. Don't miss the 2024 Burning Running Pick on Running Man, airing at 6.15pm on the 21st. It's going to be an episode filled with excitement, laughter, and intense competition. What are your predictions for this special episode? Which team do you think will come out on top? Today, we're diving into the surprising turn of events for GTBC's new entertainment program. My name is Gabriel. The show has just hit an all-time low in viewership, and we're here to break down why this might be happening. My Name is Gabriel was one of the most anticipated shows of the year, created by Kim Tae Cho, the mastermind behind the legendary Infinite Challenge, and featuring a star-studded lineup including Park B. O. Gum, Ji Chang Wook, Park Myung Soo, Yeon Ho Ran, Dex, and Gabi. Expectations were sky high. The concept of the show, which involves these celebrities experiencing the lives of ordinary people around the world, intrigued many. It promised a fresh and engaging format. The show premiered on June 21st, and initially, it maintained a respectable viewership of over 1% for its first four episodes. However, the fifth episode, which aired on July 19th, saw a sharp decline, recording only 0.897% viewership. While some viewers enjoy the show quietly, Others are finding it boring. Park Myung So, however, seems to be a highlight for some, with one comment stating, Park Myung So is freaking hilarious though. Others have pointed out issues with promotion. I don't even know which OGT platform I can watch it on. If people don't actively look it up, how else will it get exposure? Another viewer said, the problem starts at the very title. Some viewers are confused about the show's concept, saying, I don't understand the concept. It's boring. So. What went wrong? It seems to be a combination of factors. The content itself may not be resonating with viewers as expected. The promotion appears to be lacking, leading to low awareness of the show. And finally, the show's title and concept might not be as compelling as initially thought. Despite the star power and unique premise, My Name is Gabriel is struggling to find its fitting. It will be interesting to see if the producers make any changes to boost viewership in the coming episodes. What do you think about My Name is Gabriel? Have you watched it? If so, what are your thoughts? Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K Entertainment updates. Your support means the world. Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, keep spreading the K Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates,